Hi YouTube, uh, this is the first time I post a video like this because I need some answers to some of the problems I've been having today with uh, basically frame rates. Um, I've been shooting with uh, Canon 600D with a Sony camcorder and audio recorder. Basically what I did, it's shooting at the same, I shoot it at the same um, song, the same, I, I shoot at anything, but just uh, the audio is, is what matters. Because then I went to Final Cut Pro and I synchronized all these different files. So I used the 50 frames per second, 25 frames per second with Canon as well, and 25 frames per second but with the Sony camcorder and 23.98 frames per second with the Canon 600D. So now, if you can see, this and uh, this resolution is the same, you see. It comes from the same camera at the same resolution. But the camcorder is still 25 frames per second, but there's another resolution. It's 1440 by 1080. So, and the, the 50 frames per second Canon has a lower uh, resolution. It's 1280 by 720. So, I think probably the re resolution is the problem of, um, is the answer for my questions, but I'm double checking with you and I hope I'm gonna, I'm gonna get an answer or a comment or anything to help me out with this thing. So, what happened? I opened a project with F uh, Final Cut Pro, as you can see can start from the 2398 project and what I found out is that there are some clips that they can be synchronized with the others so for example in this case was a 25 frames per second 1920 by 1080 that couldn't be synchronized so let's go and take a look here it is this clip can be synchronized so I'm gonna play them all together uh, from the beginning, as I say, it's a, it's only a song. It's, it's not a shooting of anything. It's just a song, just to understand um, if uh, they could be synchronized or not. So let's do it. Okay, as you can see, they are synchronized. Let's go until the end. So. We can double check properly. They're all just fine, but not the 25 frames per second clip as you... I'm not even gonna, uh, gonna be playing with the others because, look, you can tell right away that it's lower. It's ridiculous. It's a definitely another planet. So let's move forward and we go to the 25 frames per second project. Let's take a look at the tab again. 25 frames per second project. So everything is fine. Okay, okay, okay. I mean, the, you know, I could synchronize all these clips together, but I couldn't synchronize the 23.98 frames per second. And this 23.98 frames per second is the same resolution as the synchronized clip. You see, like I could synchronize this clip, but I couldn't synchronize this one because I was 25 frames per second. This I understand. And in this case, it makes sense because it's 23.98 frames per second. So it's quite understandable that they couldn't syn be synchronized together. So let's... Uh, I'm not gonna show you this example because it's just like the other one, the previous one I showed you. So let's go here to the last one, which is the 50 frames per second. And here we go, two clips, they couldn't be synchronized. It's the 25 and the 23.98, they both from Canon and they, are, they have the same resolution, 1920 by 1080, same thing. So this is one and this is the other. Here we go. There you go. So as you 
you can see here we got a 50 frame per second Canon, the Sony 25 frames per second, the 2390 from Canon, the audio track taken has been taken from the audio recorder and the 25 frames per second Canon. So what I don't understand really is why these two clips they have the same frame rates but they don't go together. So let's play them solo. Then I put the volume up here. I mean, they start together, yeah? Well, not really, not really like a dead. They're not very, very precise, I know, but look at the end. And then you can also hear, I'm not gonna waste time, you know, synchronizing these two because. Uh, I'm gonna play this one solo and you can tell right away that it's slower or faster. No, it's slower, it's slower. And then you go to this one solo and this is definitely faster. So the other one was lower and this is faster compared to the rest of the of the clips. So, I don't remember if I went until the end, but here we, here we go. They all synchronized. So, a part of those two, of course, a part of 23.98 and 25 frames per second. So my solution would be to open up a project in Final Cut Pro at 1920 by 1080, which is the maximum, and then only use the 25 frames per second setting. Um, so I will do the same with my cameras. Of course, the Sony camcorder, I can't do it because that that mm, I don't have any choice, basically. That's what it is, and that uh, can be changed. Uh, I will be able to uh, synchronize the audio and also to use the 50 frames per second, even if uh, it's an older resolution, as you can see, 720. Apparently, Final Cut, Final Cut Pro will adapt the 720 to the uh, 1080, and um, I still need to test this, but I don't think I'm gonna have any problems with it. So the question is, why this is all happening? Um, how can I fix it, if there is any way? And um, so I would be grateful if you leave a comment and uh, you let me know your opinions or uh, you send me some links or something that I can read so I can improve this, um, this craziness. Now I know that I shouldn't be changing the frame rates in a project compared to the frame rates set on the cameras I've been using, but you know this is just a test and um, which as I say I sort out using the 25 frames per second and I'm cool with it. So once again guys I thank you very much for watching this video and I hope to receive some comments and uh, to find out you know solutions or discussions, conversations, whatever it is uh, to solve up this problem. Uh, thanks a lot and uh, speak to you soon. Bye!